one of the wonderful things about the Clamp Festival is we really do have something for everybody. I wake up. Yeah, you wake up like, like ten thirty, maybe eleven. Yeah. So I'm gonna come down here. Well, I, you're gonna hit up Lucas first. Well, yeah, right? I'll text yeah. him. Um, I'll probably get then like we'll walk clam here. cakes. I like clam cakes for breakfast. I eat that. Not clam cakes for me. I'll probably go. Uh, I'll probably go sir sirloin tips for breakfast. Yeah. Um, and then get a lime ricky because those are just. Yeah, you gotta get a lime ricky. I mean, yeah. We've got the craft show for crafters. We've got the art show for artists. We've got the carnival for those that want to thrill. Uh, we've got road races for people that want to, you know, get fit. Uh, we've got a kayak race. So we've got a little bit of something for everybody. We always look forward to the parade. That's a, that's a big event. Everybody's uh, hanging out all ages. So yeah, I think you kind of grow out of the carnival but uh, everything else is still, you know, just as magical. Kind of gives people an opportunity to come together. I mean, everyone knows that no matter what you're doing in the summer, you have to be home for Clam Fest weekend, and everyone's home and everyone's here, and it gives everyone an opportunity to kind of come together and also display our town for other people. It brings together the whole community, and I know that's sort of cliche and cheesy, but people come to the parade all from all around the state and New England, and it's really an exciting time in Yarmouth because nothing ever happens here. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so it's something people have, you know, one thing that people have to look forward to that's enjoyable. So after that, I then we'll go hit up the carnival for a little bit. Play some games. Yeah, shoot some baskets. Talk um, to our, our friend Matthew. He works at the carnival. Yeah. I might go back to my house for a little bit and like. Am I invited? Or? Yeah, you're invited. Yeah, I'm invited I'm, back. Just to clear up, I did shower before coming out. Yeah. As you get older, I think you realize like how much it means to the community and how like we go to ski camp because everyone comes together and sells these clams. Like we have a prom because everyone comes together and sells blueberry pancakes or whatever it is. You know, that's what that's what really changes it. And I think when you're little, you just think of it, it's like, oh, look at all these fun things that pop into town for the weekend. But then when you get older, you become a, more of a part of it and you realize like this needs to happen. This is like what keeps our town and a lot of our nonprofits and school organizations alive. I moved to Yarmouth when I was in fourth grade and my first impression actually of the town of Yarmouth was the Clam Festival. I think the biggest thing that I saw when I first came to Yarmouth was how um, close-knit this community was and how tight of a bond everyone had. But coming to Clam Festival was just like, I don't know, it kind of washed everything away and it made me really excited to come. It's about bringing the community together and, and kids actually, they work really hard. I think they grow up to value that experience um, and they come back to, to keep giving. And I think if, if kids can leave Yarmouth learning that, hey, it's time to give back, then, then we've done our job as you know, setting our kids off into the world. It's not just about the carnival anymore. It's not just about bracelet night. It's definitely about um, paying back your community for all it does for you. So. Come back out, meet up with some other friends like later in the night, and then just what time? Wait, what time is it? Like eight, maybe, maybe seven. So you're saying from from ten thirty till eight o'clock, all we did was come down here, then go back to your house and drink no, no, we, no. <laughs> oh yeah, and we went to the carnival. We, went we to played the some carnival, games. So. That, yeah. that chews up a little more time. Yeah. So we, we, we look at the crafts too. That's a big component. Well, yeah, I you think. have to go to the crafts. There are about 160 um, crafters and artists that come to the festival. We, we take pride in the craft show and the art show. Um, historically, they've been known as one of the nicer shows in the state. Um, but we, we have artists and crafters from all over. It's not just um, locally. But we try to um, have an emphasis on the local art scene and, and the local folks. The other thing about the Clam Festival that's wonderful is it has retained the small town charm. It's something you just, you don't see in a lot of places anymore and we've been able to preserve that with the Clam Festival and it's fantastic. The Clam Festival um, has the ability to bring folks together year after year. They are very involved and they form relationships. They have friendships with people that they work in booths with. 
And it, it really um, is, a, is a wonderful thing to see. So every year since uh, Jeff and I have met, one of the things that you know we do traditionally is we always take um, a little block of time, we figure out our calendar, our times of when we're working, and we always go up to um, just visit the crafters and we always try to pick out at least just like one little thing, memento, um, each year from uh, the Clam Festival to uh, you know share that together. It is a lot of fun. The vendors, the crafters, they come back year after year and they're all like friends. What do you love about the Clam Festival? It's super fun and awesome. I like all the people. I really like the Thunderbolts. I like the community. Cotton candy. The rides. The Thunderbolt and the Grab Truck. Skydiver. The whole festival allows for the town um, to break away from itself a little bit. I think we're, we're such a small town, everybody knows each other. It's kind of a refreshing opportunity to open the doors and show you know, the rest of, of Maine and, and from people away how special this place is. We've been we've been friends for like since over pre, ten years, since yeah. Preschool, so. And going to the Clamp Festival has always been a big part of that. We're pretty close. Yeah.